Let me go change my hoodie. <laughs> What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Jay. Um, so I recorded this video originally and I was like half asleep in my chair. Um, so I wanted to talk about Dragon Ball fighters. Um, but, uh, which I'll probably upload that video anyway. Uh, I'm gonna upload this one, uh, which is a follow-up. I just wasn't awake during that video. So, um, it was, I kind of wanted to sit and talk about it actually. Um, I kind of want to do this thing where, uh, whenever I make a video that I wasn't happy about, I, hold on, I gotta close Steam because it's like, oh, restarting, even though it should have fucking updated when I opened it the first time. Um, so check this out. I have found it very difficult to create content, um, that's fun and exciting and interesting, even for me to watch, uh, because it's tough being in a position of working so many hours during the day but now that i have a new job it's, it's completely different uh the vibe and the energy is different i go into work later uh, i don't go into work until like 10 which is great i i love it anytime i don't have to get up at 6 a.m to go to work at 8 that's the best thing in the world like i i cannot stress that enough getting going to work at 10 a.m changes your vibe a hundred percent because 8 a.m is just too early like i remember going to school at 8 a.m and like your first couple of classes you're like i don't want to fucking be here like it is oh man it is so difficult to do i don't understand why that the school system is the way it is but i mean i'm an adult now so i don't really have to worry about that until i have kids god please uh, anyway um so for now i just wanted to kind of commentate on my video uh i'm not gonna do like a where i play it and stuff like that but um the energy that i had for that video it was really hard to make a video that i something that i genuinely cared about something but also didn't at the same time so my position when it comes to fighting games dragon ball fighters and like all this other stuff is because of the impending loss that i have when it comes to to fighting games it bothers me a lot to even make kind of content on it the only reason why i want to play dragon ball fighters is to play with my friends so they can beat my ass and it also makes for really great content like honestly uh, I've been watching a lot of C-Reacts videos. I've been watching a lot of Rhyme Style videos. Um, um, there's one other guy. I think his name is Dodo or something. I I can't remember. I, I feel like it's super disrespectful for me not to know his name off the top of my head. But these are cool dudes. Uh, I've been watching a lot of their content. And the way they make fighters videos is very interesting. Um, because it's fun. It's hype. But also they get wins when they play the game when i play the game i just get mad and like i i lose fucking nine out of ten games that i play so it's like oh i i don't i don't find it exciting to lose um but also at the same time i do want to make very great compelling content so i felt like it was really important for me to make this video to talk about that um and talk about like general content creation and stuff like that because i don't think i've made one i've talked about it on live streams about like some of my goals and stuff like that and some of the people i aspire to make videos like um and it's kind of rough because you want to navigate in a space where everyone has like their creative niche or niche or uh they do certain things a certain way that you find inspiring but then trying to find your own stuff i guess basically like you know when content creators have their own flair like you could tell it's their type of video from the way that they make it and the way that you get to that position as a creator is you have to make video after video after video after video of you trying and attempting different things to add your flair to it and that's that's pretty much the only way that i can rationalize you know how to make content and stuff like that so i just feel like i haven't made enough videos to figure out what my stamp and what my signature is of how i compose my videos how i produce my videos how i edit them how how i film them all this other stuff like talking head videos like this i can do this all day all the time i have plenty of stuff to talk about um which is why the podcast is so important so uh which reminds me i need to film a podcast episode today when i get home so that'll be out tomorrow which is sunday oh and happy valentine's day to all of you single people all of you in relationships you guys can go jump off a boat for all i care <laughs> so uh just because that's the way i feel oh my god man like 
even making content yesterday was super difficult because when I got home, I was playing The Division 2, which I'm streaming, but for some reason my computer is like, uh, I don't want to record this properly, but the game runs perfectly fine. Like, I, I don't understand why creating content for that game is so difficult. It's almost as difficult as creating content for Overwatch because Overwatch has a weird stutter when I'm recording. So I have to figure that out. So uh, if any of you guys want to reach out and help me with that next time I'm on stream, that would be great. Um, but now I'm kind of like all over the place. Anyway, so the point I'm trying to get to is creating content is difficult if you have like a certain idea in mind but you don't know how to implement it so from now on i think i'm gonna do these talking head videos in between all of my other videos that really i don't feel great about or i feel really good about and i want to explain a lot of those videos and talk about it and stuff because i realize that youtube is not just a platform for like oh make gimmicky content so you can get views and stuff like that like i don't want to see it as that anymore just because i find that boring um and it also puts a mathematical thought process in your head and you're like oh man i don't want to make this video because it's not going to get views or i do want to make this video because it's going to get views but i don't really care about the subject so it makes it really hard to actually make content i don't know if i'm making any sense to any of you guys but that's just the way i feel so let me know your thoughts and opinions and comments and concerns down in the comment section below um i definitely want to have a conversation with you guys about this um and that's another huge thing i want to talk about is like comments like i take the comments so seriously at this point um which is interesting because when you do this type of thing and you create content you're gonna have like toxic comments all the time so there's like this weird double entendre type of thing where it's like man how are you gonna pay attention to the comment section and then also not pay attention to the negative comments and to be honest uh dealing with ne negative comments has was a challenge for me in the first maybe two years of my channel but now it's like this person doesn't know who i am like they don't know anything about me <laughs> like you know what i mean like why why should i give a shit about what they have to say so that's my general synopsis of it so i'm also planning to do a bunch of other videos but uh as of right now i have to like move my setup and clean my room and if you guys can't tell i'm like moving a lot of stuff because i'm preparing for a bunch of new changes so we're gonna see how that goes um i'm very excited to to continue trying to create content and make whatever it is that i can um however it is that i can make it so you know but that's i don't know we'll deal with that when we cross that bridge i guess uh, anyway, this has been your man Jay. I will see you guys uh, in the next video. Make sure to keep it canning.